it's me, Stormy, and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of March 26th, the last week in March 2018. That is crazy beans. We are rolling into Easter Sunday, which traditionally has been and is commonly known as a religious holiday. But did you also know that it is considered a star day as well because it's celebrated the first Sunday after the first full moon following the spring equinox. Did you know that? There's a little bit of trivia for the week. And I love sharing that social stuff with you because this is such a social week. We have got Venus on go. She's making many interactions this week, having lots of conversations. So this is a week to be social, collaborate, work with people, talk with people, and all of that good stuff. So let's get in here and break this down. Actually, before we break that down, hopefully you have been able to either get your email because you're a current client or you follow me on Facebook or Twitter to the spring cleaning that is happening around Stormy Grace. I've got some products that I love, but it is time for them to go and make room for some new cool stuff I've got coming for us. So until April 20th, I am spring cleaning. Click in the link in the description box down below. Come visit me at stormygrace.com. I have got a list of things that are highly discounted because it's time for them to make their way out so we can bring in some new blessings. So take advantage, grab your discounted stuff. I love you, it's for you. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this social business of Venus this week. First of all, we're starting out the week here where Venus is coming into a conjunction here with Uranus. She's going to change signs. And then at the end of the week, she's actually going to be the ruler of this full moon happening in Libra. So right here on Wednesday, March 25th, excuse me, 28th, this is when we're going to have a one day connection. One day only, one day only <laughs> between Venus and and Uranus. So they're going to sit in a conjunction. Now, what I love about Venus and Uranus in a conjunction is one, it brings surprising love to the table. We're in a Mercury retrograde. You could definitely have a love come back from the past, a love of a hobby, depending on what house this is sitting for you. Maybe it's that job opportunity that you were waiting to hear back for, right? Now, because this is such an unpredictable, spontaneous, different, get out of your shell, um, surprising kind of energy, anything could happen. We could end up even having um, shocking events that we see happening somewhere in the world. Now, what I will tell you that I think is the smartest thing for you not to do as if that love comes in, or if that just, just one time only investment comes through where you see that thing and it's only on sale today, I would not advise you with Uranus involved to take that big leap and that big risk, right? Maybe you notice it, but I wouldn't put my love or my money completely on the line this week because Uranus likes to bring temporary things. And so then it doesn't last and you've taken this leap or you've invested this money and we're in a retrograde and it's just not quite the right thing. So if you can, if you can wait, I think that's better. The energy kind of slows or becomes a little bit slightly less dramatic just a day away on the 29th. We've got the sun actually coming in a square to Saturn, which will ground your vitality. This is wonderful because you're going to wait a minute. My life essence, my vitality, the sun has got to make some smart decisions. I've got to pay attention to what I'm doing um, and what it may even do for some people. That Sun Saturn um, square, what it's actually going to do is place challenges in your way. And that's going to be not so fun, right? That could be something that's very frustrating. But for other people, it's actually going to put enough obstacles in the way this week, I think, with all of this social energy to keep you from making a silly decision. Sometimes the universe is just trying to throw us a sign that this is not actually the thing. Pay attention because it's bringing information, but you don't have to leap at everything that's coming your way. So I actually enjoy that energy. I do know for some of you it will be challenging, but I don't think it'll last for too long. Now on Saturday, the 31st, first of all, we've got Venus moving into Taurus. So that's great. So we've got a natural, she's at home kind of energy. Taurus season is around the corner. So comfortable, 
Venus becomes comfortable. There's a sense of magnetism going around. There's a sense of you may want to spend your money, but there's also just a sense of luxury that's happening here. It's very upbeat. So the next three weeks are going to be social. You're going to want to beautify things wherever this is happening for you. You know, maybe you want to beautify your finances. Maybe you want to beautify your home. Maybe you want to beautify your relationship. You want to find some harmony. Those are things that are going to start to become a theme for you. Now, at the same time, we've got this full moon happening in Libra that's also happening on the 31st, which Venus is also the ruler of Libra. So typically the full moon is a time of um, culminations, endings. We need to acknowledge something. We need to adjust something. With the energy being in Libra, along with it being ruled by Venus, with Venus also being here, this is a wonderful time for diplomacy. If you have something going on with a coworker, but that coworker could actually help you get something done, this is a great time to maybe find some diplomacy, some harmony, put it there. In your relationships, if you've been seeing any trouble, wonderful harmonious ending, thus giving room for a fresh new beginning. The partnership energy, the harmony energy, the beautifying energy is really high and really, really on fleek here. Now, one of the things I was actually thinking about too is skipping back for just a second to the beginning of the week when you see this Venus Uranus energy kind of climbing in here just because Uranus can be so unexpected for some reason I'm just getting the indicator at this full moon we need to be careful we just need to be mindful this week of slowing down and not making any super rash decisions. You know what I mean? As we end this week, we are rolling into, yes, Easter Sunday, which is beautiful. It's happening on the 1st, but it's also April Fool's Day. So there's a lot that's giving me the indicator this week of no rash movements, but lots of social. Get out, be social, speak things, look at the things that maybe you want to purchase, give it a week, consider if it's the right thing for you, right? All of those kinds of things seem to be in the favor of this week, but I do like the way that this Venus magnetism also is working to bring a sense of sensuality to the week, a sense of beauty to the week, and a sense of uplifted self-esteem as well. So, gonna be a very interesting week, time for being very social. I look forward to seeing what you do in your relationships, how your self-esteem comes out this week, um, maybe things around your finances. There is certainly growth experiences available around finances this week. Wherever Venus is involved, your finances finances have the opportunity to grow. So I love you guys. Take advantage of all of your spring cleaning goodies. I look forward to seeing most of you coming up here just in April as we do Astrology 102. There are only two spots left in that class if you're wanting to still join. That's also in the description box down below. All right, you guys, I love you. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you social butterflies next week. Bye.